Folks, we made it to 2023. Look at us. We survived. Like we need a bungee back there. We raise pretty talented cattle over at Sunny Farms. You got one that can bounce a poop right on a round bar fence. That's what you call genetics. We won't be seeing much of Dad today. He's got a bit of a cold, but it ain't just your average cold. No, it's that special kind. You can call it a man cold. Much worse than any other cold. It is the cold that a man gets. Not 100% sure, but I do hear is often worse than giving birth and a woman may not ever understand how bad the man cold really is. So he'll just be hanging out in the house today, probably resting up. We got this last load to feed and then we'll get to the big job that needs done today. The tractor was telling me the fuel pressure was low, which is weird because today's the warmest day. It's getting up to eight above in the last 10 days. Plus this thing was in the heated shop last night, so it it started giving me that code right away, so maybe the fuel filter is actually getting kind of plugged. I gotta take this down the road so I don't want to have issues. Good way to hurt your back right here. We hauled some really old crappy hay with this last, so it's kind of a mess. So tomorrow is our date for preg checking. Now, I don't know if Dad's going to be... We might end up canceling it again if Dad doesn't feel any better. Snow blew into our working corral over there, and it's a mess, and so we got to get that cleaned up. It needs done regardless whether we're working cattle tomorrow or not. Uh, last time I used this, which was about eight months ago, the spout would not rotate, and I was thinking, I was hoping it was because there was some water and a connection, and hopefully that got out of there. So hopefully this works good today, but we're going to hook it up. I'm going to lube these because Bob Tatch, Quick Tatch, doesn't like to work half the time, especially when it's cold. And then we'll get over there and try to clean stuff up a little bit. So to get the skid loader over there, obviously I needed the trailer. A neighbor of ours, their tractor broke down, so they're using our 7520, so I no longer have a tractor over there. Since that three-point ball hitch was on, just use the tractor. I need the tractor. I need the trailer. Might as well not, you know, use a pickup. And we'll have to feed a couple bales over at those cows. We've also been having trouble with this boiler. It shut off and I'm trying to restart it and it's not working. So we've been heating with the diesel burner over there. Well, I was trying to grab some water and I flipped this. And we obviously got some frozen pipes. So that's fun, fun stuff. I don't know, maybe we'll... Toilet's refilling, so that's good. Fun stuff, anyway, let's see if this thing works and then we gotta go feed those cows, they're hungry. Functions work. 
Well, I've had it before where I put something away that was working just fine, and the next time I came to it, it was broken. So I was hoping when I put this away broken, when I came back to it about eight months later, it would be working. Well, that wasn't the case. Anyway, it'll still work. I just can't direct the direct the snow where I want it to. But we got to get those cows fed, so we're going to start heading down the road, get them fed. I turned the heater in there up a little bit, so hopefully that thaws out that water line and that doesn't blow up and squirt water everywhere. Guess I'm not using that one. They got all that cleaned up. It's nice that they're not wasting. You know, they're hungry and they're getting every little bit of it. This week it's going to be awesome. Highs tomorrow, 36, pretty much right at freezing, right at the freezing point. And you know, if we got 32 degree weather, even when it's colder than that and you got good sunshine, stuff melts. And so hopefully those cows will be getting back in the corn stalks so we don't have to feed them so much. A lot of that snow evaporates and they'll be eating out there again. Ma'am, you're stepping on my net. Oh. And hopefully that's the last four bales we have to feed them for a while. They need to get out in them stocks. Find some corn and leaves out there. Forgot I had a net in there. That took about 30 minutes just to get this second driveway cleared out so we can get the trailer in place and backed up so we can load cows out. That snow was just too hard packed and frozen. The skid loader snowblower wasn't going to do a good job. I'm going to get some lunch and come back and then we'll start blowing some snow, cleaning this place up a little bit. Oh man, I, there's a really big snow drift over there that I'm going to have to plow through. I wish these would work.
don't think I can get a skid loader in there. We are able to preg check tomorrow anytime a cow is open meaning it's not pregnant we gotta open this little gate and throw them that way whereas if they're pregnant they're just gonna go right back out to where they were so yeah it's a good thing I came here today looks like I need to I clean that and then I must have shot more snow right there so I gotta come back but need to be able to open and close that gate for sure wasn't very fun but look at what we got next at least this gate opens in and I can get to the snow in front of it but holy smokes we don't need to open the gate we just let the cows walk right over top of this one. Oh man you see how hard this stuff is that's that's gonna be hard to uh oh yeah and dad also asked me to clean this one up that's about five foot tall throughout the whole thing I don't know if I can do that. North and west of here got it way worse. Like that's not just their drifts. That's just everywhere. At least for us, this is just our snow drifts is where it's really deep. Well, this won't be too bad. Let's get after it and clean this up. I, it's going to be a waste of time. That's going to that's gonna burn diesel to clean that one out. So I don't think we're even going to attempt that. If it was fluffy stuff, it'd be easy. But it's like frozen solid. Like everyone's coming up to drink.
but that's all cleared up they're all they're able to get in there luckily there's not too much snow in there that's not going to hinder us from doing what we need to do we'll have to shovel some by hand in there we got most of that stuff cleared out i think i'm done with the snow blower i'm going to get this gate open so tomorrow if we do go we'll just be able to chase them right up and we'll be able to get the gate shut behind them they look decent we'd sure like them to be a little fatter when the wind chill is negative 50 it's hard to keep weight on a cow I guess I better make this a time lapse because this is going to take a while. Holy smokes, that's a rabbit. I didn't even see him there. Woo! There you go. We made it. As long as there's not much snow in here. Huh, that ain't bad. Get them get to the back. We can shut some gates. Get them in there, work them to the front. Got inside the chute cleaned up so Doc can get in there and do what he needs to do. Got a little pass here. Ready to rock. How's the man cold? Strong like bull. Mmm, sounds a little hoarse. Well, look at this. We got smoke. It's not smoke, it's water vapor coming out the side hole. That means our boiler's working again. Good deal. Dad got the water running, so he's letting that run. Anyway, we're ready for working cattle tomorrow. It all depends on this guy. Are you gonna are you gonna be up for it? Yep. We will pick tick toes. Okay. Cool beans. Yep. Today it got up to about eight degrees. And as the sun goes down, it's gonna start getting warmer, which is awesome. And then tomorrow, high of 38. Woo! Cows are gonna be sweating, I tell you. That's the song of the day from the pretend, the pretenders brass in pocket. I got brass in pocket. Get that out of my face hole. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be working chat cat. We'll be working cattle. He'll chattel, be chattel, check, chat, chat, chat. He'll be laying face ground, face down in, in the, the ground. ground because either he'll be sick or I'm gonna put him there because he keeps mouthing off to me. I'll take you. I figure one of these thunderous. We'll do it. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. I didn't even attempt cleaning out that small pen that you told me to. It was about this high throughout the whole thing. Where are all the cows going to go? Yeah, we'll have to stack them. Not happy. It's tough around here.